So hey guys, this is probably one of the best third-party Nintendo Switch controllers I have ever used. Now I've used other third-party controllers for the Switch in the past, and they were okay, but pretty generic. Now you might be thinking, what's so great about this controller? It looks like an ordinary Pro controller, or an Xbox One controller, which I can somewhat agree. While it does have a similar design, this controller is actually way different and has a lot of hidden features. But I'll get to that in just a second. Just to let you know, all the functions are powered by a 2 ARM 32-bit CPU, so the response time is very fast. It comes in a hard case pouch to protect your controller. It also comes with a charging cable, which you can also play when charging it. So you got the usual buttons on here, ABXY, D-pad, analog sticks, home button, start and select, and the screenshot button. Then there's these two buttons on here that's not on the Pro Controller, which makes this controller actually a bit more unique. But I'll talk about those buttons in just a few seconds. It has a function of handling sensing, the ZR and ZR button, also called linearity control on the Xbox controller. And you could adjust the linearity from 0 to 100%. This function is used frequently on race games or flight games. Linearity is like the accelerator in your car. The speed will be different depending on the strength you're stepping on. On the front of the controller, there's two set of buttons. The first set of buttons is to switch between the Nintendo Switch, Windows, or Android smartphone. Then after you select what device you want to play on, you then hold the other button to sync to the device itself. So let's go back to the two buttons on the Pro Controller. The one button is the macro button to copy your inputs. So let's say you're playing the new Pokemon game and you need a hatch egg, which in order to hatch eggs in Pokemon, you have to walk around so many steps before it can hatch. With this controller, just set a path to follow, and when you reach the amount of steps you need, your egg will hatch without you even holding the controller. I also find this very useful in Smash Brothers. Sometimes I need a second player to do certain things, and my brother might not always be around to help. I can set the second player to do the same moves over and over, so I can do what I need to do. So let's say I need to have the second player do a combo of moves. I just hold down the macro button for a few seconds. It will then vibrate. After it's done vibrating, I just input the commands. Then I hit the macro button again. To activate it, I just have to hit the macro button once, which it will perform the same inputs I just put in. If I double press the macro button, it will then repeat the same inputs until I turn it off. You can use this function for many different games as well. How many of you guys remember the old controllers where they had a turbo button? Well, I actually own a few myself. And this also has a turbo mode as well. Just hit the set button and one of the ABXY buttons or the right trigger buttons. Now you can have it on auto fire. It might be useful for some games where you need to keep tapping a button. <laughs> The stick material is like the same of an Xbox One controller, made by Metal called ALPS, and it's not like the plastic stick. Plastic sticks may be damaged by long time use and leave some powder. Also, you can change the sensitivity of the stick to make it more accurate for esports games. Another cool function I'm so happy they added, I'm so used to the ABXYs being in the position they are. When I'm playing PC games with an Xbox One controller, I tend to hit the wrong button because I'm so used to using a Nintendo controller. So all I gotta do to fix that is to hit the set button, then the plus, aka the start button. It will then use the proper buttons that I'm quite used to. So the Switch Pro controller as well as the Joy-Cons have gyro built right into it so you can move your controller and give yourself the ability to aim a little bit better. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. Have you ever wanted to use it on games that don't have that ability? All you need to do is hit the set button and then the left trigger button and then you have different levels of motion you can choose from. It's not as good as games that actually use gyroscope, but it works fine. You can even change the vibration settings on this controller. No one can match the HD rumble on the Nintendo Switch controllers, but you can still change the power of the vibration. If you ever made a mistake or want to reset the controller back to normal, just hit the set button and then the minus button, which is also the select button, which will actually revert it back. 
Oh, and the best part about this controller? This controller shouldn't drift. There are a few more things I can do with this controller, but I wanted to cover the stuff that I was most impressed with. I do want to mention, this controller does support amiibos, which not many third-party controllers do. I did have one issue though. When playing Smash Brothers, I tend to hit the screenshot button a lot. I feel like the button is a little bit too close to the analog stick. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and as always, have a smashing day.